So can you tell me a little bit about how you got into this then? Actually, I have spent all my life in the nuclear industry after graduation of the Technical University of Budapest. I went uh, with the Academy of Hungarian Sciences Nuclear Energy Research Lab, where I used to work uh, at the Department of Thermohydraulics. Actually, we calculated what happens uh, in kind of a nuclear accident, what kind of nuclear uh, reaction take place in an exploding reactor. So accidents, lots of radiation and so on. We, I was involved in, in these calculations. And uh, after Chernobyl I became disappointed and I started to look for uh, some other alternative ways what mother nature or physics or, or forgotten, uh, forgotten uh, inventions offer. So I spent some 20 years looking at libraries and, and, uh, and in the dusty papers of patent office then before the internet and so on. And uh, I've wrote several books on forgotten inventions. I really went into the forgotten past to find uh, some extremely bright but forgotten ideas. You know, when people are really uh, far advanced their, their age, sometimes uh, the, the rest of the crowd are unable to follow the guy. Tesla was a typical guy or or uh, Henry Moray or Joseph Pop, uh, to name a, a few, actually. And the other, my favorite, is Victor Schauberger, who realized actually that trout, uh, when they are in a fast mountain stream, they, they don't uh, swim, they just stay put, yet uh, the creek is, is just rushing uh, beside them, but they are not moving. How? How they betray conservation of energy? How they betray actually the conservation of momentum? And I was uh, uh, researching ball lightning, which is uh, actually avoiding uh, or beating all the known laws of physics. Ball lightning is violating everything you can imagine, conservation of charge, conservation of energy, stability of, of plasma, and even if ball lightning is interacting uh, with some material like melting uh, a window or, or boring through a wall, it is extremely interesting for me, who spend all my life uh, in energy and energy transport uh, process because an explosion of nuclear reactor is nothing but a collection of, of different energies transforming one form to another. So it was uh, really my own hunting field where I felt absolutely secure and I was amazed going uh, to the field. Uh, in Hungary, insurance company gave me always the tip, a bow lightning destroyed the house here, uh, it uh, exploded all the wires uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a, a building in that village and so on. For 10 years I collected uh, evidence on video and, and, and something and it was extremely interesting. It really what I saw, it blew up my mind off because what I saw is strictly forbidden by physics. What we know and what we teach and what we firmly believe is always violated there. And not just now, but old historical Chinese records, all old records published by by old British, uh, British papers. Uh, for example, when uh, bell wires were all of a sudden evaporated by a ball lightning. How? What kind of energy transport? What kind of energy? So these questions and. Uh, well, step by step I became extremely disappointed by mainstream science because it, it never cared about the huge potentials of what modern nature offers us. 
and on the other side, uh, uh, extremely exciting, uh, bright uh, inventions were completely forgotten. Uh, one of my books have been translated uh, about forbidden inventions in, into German, but couldn't find publisher, for example. And when I tried in English, it also met the same fate. So uh, these ideas are so out of range uh, of the mainstream, but they, they would be so important uh, for the survival of human race. For example, uh, the mere fact that one can uh, combust uh, uh, carbon and, uh, and uh, carbohydrates nearly uh, CO2 free has been discovered uh, before me by a French uh, uh, guy who was uh, a simple guy who was making uh, uh, ovens actually. He realized that in case of resonance, no CO2. He, he uh, even patented his idea, but had no physics, uh, no, no idea what is the physics behind it. I found it. Tesla had no access to dusty plasma papers. But uh, due to the diligent work of, of uh, people, I collected the pieces of the puzzles and uh, for me first time in the history on my desk all these little jigsaw puzzles fit together and now we can understand and i have published in infinite energy uh, the the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle but not much interest not much uh, intellectual hunger unfortunately so far i uh I have seen Bull Lightning once in my life before, oh. um, or at least now that I, I understand it to be Bull Lightning, it's, uh, there's a Neolithic fort in um, Sussex called Chanterbury Ring. Um, it's uh, part of a complex of a hilltop fort, and there, there is a ring of um, trees, uh, and I used to run there and everything. This incredible electric storm one night, and I, I I saw this lightning sort of come down, and then it kind of wrapped round, and the whole thing was just basically glowing, and it took a lot of the trees down, um, and it was around, it was like <laughs> it was looped round this ring of trees on the top of this this hill. So, um, and that's the only other time that I've come across really the discussion around ball lightning. Uh, is uh, I had the opportunity to go to the French University in Moscow and uh, present some of the MFMP's work. And they have this regular once a month meeting and uh, it's about what they call in Russia cold nuclear trans transmutation and ball lightning. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just interesting because a lot of the best nuclear research has come out of the uh, former Soviet Union, but also um, uh, uh, Russia. And uh, they seem not to be afraid of, of talking about these things uh, as that if they exist, and let's try and work out how they happen. Um, and it, it's interesting to me that there can be this sort of cognitive, cognitive dis dissonance, or whatever you call it, where in in the West, they, they, they listen to someone telling them that this is not possible, but they deny the reality of what you can see with your own eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's not possible. Yeah, but look at it, it's there. It's not possible, uh, but it's there. <laughs> you have seen my video. The first I have been waiting for decades for that to happen by, by just by accident. Yeah. Have you had an opportunity to see it yourself? No, never. All never. Right. But I, I have seen I, it. For me, um, what I saw, I, I've never been able to explain. Um, and uh, just, just a phenomenal expression of nature. Um, and it's always one of the wonders of nature that when you think you know how it works, you seriously do not. <laughs> You're only just going on the journey.